Hi, Sharon Durbin Graves, Painting with Acrylics 101.com, here in my studio in beautiful Kentucky. I'm just going to do a quick video today on where you can get supplies to paint with. So let's get started. Hello, Sharon Durbin Graves, Painting with Acrylics 101.com, a website dedicated and devoted to helping beginner painting painters get their feet under them and to make progress quicker. Okay, today we're going to talk about where to buy supplies. So, there's a number of places that you can go, and I will put some um, links in the description. However, here's my disclaimer. I'm not an affiliate with anybody, so I make no money on any of them, so just so you know that. Um, my favorite place to uh, online to shop for art supplies is dickblickart.com, and he has physical stores, like in the west and the northeast, but nothing in my area, but I really like his website. And I like it for one particular reason. I got some frames that I ordered from there once, and there were a number of them that were nicked up, and I had absolutely no problem in returning them. So their return policy was fabulous for me, and so that bought my loyalty. And it's just sometimes one simple little thing that will buy your loyalty. Um, another good online website is called Jerry's Art Arama and you can you know Google both of them I will put their names and everything in the description box Jerry's is very very good it's on the same uh, level as Dick Blick but for whatever reason okay this might not make any sense to anybody else but because I was able to return those frames without any problems, any questions asked, any difficulty at all, I've always been loyal. <laughs> so, and that's, that's what happens. We do get, you know, something does work well, and so we're very loyal to that. Um, but Jerry's Artorama is also very good. Their prices are extremely similar. Um, they have a huge, both Dick Blick and Jerry's Art Artorama have a huge, catalog that you can get and, and their online catalog is huge so you have to be patient don't get frustrated uh, put in the search box once you get to their page put in the search box what you're looking for acrylic paint canvas uh, acrylic paint brushes um, natural bristle brushes whatever it is you're looking for put that in the search box and that will pop up now when you're buying paint Make sure that you know if you want to buy student grade paint or professional paint because there is a difference in price. There is also a difference in the size, um, the tubes. Um, you can get them in a two ounce tube, a four ounce tube, I think even an eight or a 16 ounce tube. And if it's something that you're gonna use on a regular basis, you may as well buy the bigger tube so you don't run out and have to get it again. Um, for I know for well, I think Dick Blick is like, if with an order of $45, uh, shipping is included. And it takes no time whatsoever to rack up $45. Uh, but don't think you have to buy everything under the sun. You don't. Okay, so another place. If I need something in person, I need it right now, I'll go to Hobby Lobby. I happen to like Hobby Lobby. I like the way the store is laid out. Having said that, they are carrying less and less of the paint that I like and uh, of the brushes that I use. So I'm finding myself going more and more online every day uh, looking for the supplies that I need. I try to keep a good enough stock ahead so I don't have to run to a store, but uh, sometimes things happen <laughs> or you just forget. Uh, but I keep a little list of what I'm going to need. And so I make sure that if, if there's a free shipping option, I want that free shipping option. Oh, yeah, another place <clears throat> that you can go, <clears throat> excuse me, is Michael's. Um, and again, for whatever reason, I'm not a huge fan of Michael's. I have not, I've never had a bad experience there. It's just something in the way the store's laid out or whatever that 
doesn't necessarily make sense to me or there's not enough paint supplies of what I use. <clears throat> now there's also Joann's Fabrics, which has a lot of craft supplies. Now they might have the canvases. Um, they might, might or might not have a student grade paint. I doubt that they have professional paint, but they might. But again, you don't want craft paint for this kind of a painting. You need a good heavy body, thick body, student or professional grade paint. And you don't need a zillion colors. You need for sure, uh, and all colors come in a warm and a cool. So you want um, a good yellow, a good red, and a good blue. Um, and to me, blue is ultramarine blue, red is a cad red, and then I also use an alizarin crimson red as my cool. I have a video on here on how to set up my palette, and I will link to that. Um, also, I know we normally, you know, when people are shopping for something, they'll just automatically go to Amazon. Well, you're free to do that if you choose. <laughs> Uh, however, I have never found good quality art supplies on Amazon. There's a lot of stuff there. For, for one thing, a lot of it comes in sets, and I never buy sets. I buy individual colors because if you buy a set, okay, so you might save yourself three or four dollars, but there's probably going to be at least one color in there that you're probably almost never going to use. <laughs> so you have to balance that out. But I've just never really found good quality um, art supplies on Amazon or eBay uh, like I can on um, Dick Blick, Jerry's Artorama. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned Cheap Joe's. Cheap Joe's is another catalog type place where you go in and you tell it what you're looking for because again, they have huge catalog. They are selling art supplies for all types of art. All three of those places are. So you want to, you, you know, you have to narrow it down <laughs> uh, as, as to what it is you're really looking for. So when you're buying art supplies, I never recommend people go into debt to buy art supplies, particularly in the beginning when you're just learning. I always recommend you buy the best you can afford. So Think that over. Think about um, six, no more than eight colors that you want uh, to start with. And in reality, I think a beginning painter actually does better if they will only buy the three primaries, red, yellow, and blue, and then, and white, and learn how to mix lots of colors out of using those. Uh, I, I think uh, a beginning painter really is well served to spend some time mixing color. So, um, see, is there anything else I need to tell you <laughs> about um, where I get my supplies? Now, there are some great places. Um, I love rosemary brushes. However, I'm not sure that a beginning painter actually needs uh, a rosemary brush. I think you really need to learn how to use a brush, how it becomes part of your hand, how to get use all different surfaces of the brush and then I, I would recommend going taking a step up or two and buying better brushes when you are ready when you need them when you can afford them again I never suggest that you go out and spend a boatload of money on things you're not sure about yet that you might not um, continue uh, I, I, I was painting a, a long time before I I uh, bought rosemary brushes, mainly because I bought good brushes in the beginning, um, not terribly expensive, but I bought good ones, and I took care of them. And so they have lasted me, in, in some cases, for 20 years. I'm still using some of the very same brushes that I bought when I first decided I wanted to learn how to be a fine art painter over 20 years ago. So, I mean, I, I use them almost every day and I take care of them. And I promise if you'll do that, your brushes will last. Now, if you wanted to buy a pack of brushes, here's my recommendation on that. If you want to buy a pack of brushes, 
um, you know, like six or eight brushes. Do not buy the cheapest pack in the store. Go up to about $14, $15, $16. $15. You should get anywhere from six to eight brushes. And I would only buy synthetic flats or rounds, but synthetic brushes in a pack. Don't buy anything that has all different kinds of handles, different colors of handles. Um, don't buy anything like that. They will not be good. You will not be happy. Buy a, as good a price of a pack of uh, synthetic flats that you can get. Bristle brushes, honest to goodness, natural bristle brushes that are the workhorse of your art kit do not come in a pack. And you will have to buy um, maybe I, I, maybe a size four, a size eight, and a size 10 or a 12. Uh, in a natural bristle brush, they should be anywhere from four to eight dollars a piece, somewhere in that price range, and and those will serve you well, and you will get out of them what you want. I have never found a synthetic bristle brush that I liked. Uh, I've got some. <laughs> I never use them <laughs> and the only time I might use them is if I need something that's pretty screwed up and and I want to do something with with I'm not going to do a lot of it uh, you know I might have used it for something like these little orange uh, dots in here uh, maybe some of this back in here some of these leaves that are farther back uh, but I have never found a synthetic flat brush that is any count so if I were you, I would bypass that and look only for natural bristle brushes, hog bristles, boar bristles, something along those lines. Okay, so that's how you can and, and where you can get some good supplies that will serve you well. So thank you so much. If you've enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel. It's dedicated only to... Uh, beginning painters just like my website painting with acrylics 101.com it's to help beginners or newly beginners uh, nearly I guess maybe it's a better word nearly beginners uh, who have been painting for a little while but are not happy with their results yet uh, and so that's my goal was to help you get happy with your results so thank you so much have a great day let's paint together real soon Hello there. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel. Check out my website, www.paintingwithacrylics101.com. And on there is a tab that says Beginner's Painting Club. And I open that up three times a year. And I'm gonna do some, maybe a few flash sales where it'll be open for like 24 hours. But if you'll get on the waiting list, go in there and explore that, see what all is available in the Beginner's Painting Club. And then go to the bottom and, and sign up to be on the waiting list. And then I can send you email about it when, if I'm gonna have a flash sale and when and the next time that it's gonna open up for good. So thanks a lot, have a great day. Let's paint together soon.